hi everyone okay if you're ready let's solve this right away okay we have x plus y equals 100 as our equation 1 then we have x y equals 100 again as our equation 2 now from equation 1 we are expected to do something let's make x the subject in equation 1 so that x will be equal to 100 minus y now let's call this equation 3 remember equation 1 gave birth to equation 3 so we put this equation 3 now back into equation 2 okay and our equation 2 is x y equals 100 so that in place of x i'll write 100 minus y then this y here in equation 2 will be outside and it's equal to 100 100 times y is 100 y minus y times y is minus y squared and this is equal to 100 so from here let's write the one with the highest power first so that we'll have minus 1 minus y squared plus 100 y let's bring this to the left to get minus 100 this is equal to 0 because there's nothing on the right hand side anymore now there will be need for us to remove this negative as we multiply all through by negative 1 that will give us y squared minus this will give us 100y and this will turn to plus 100 because we are multiplying everything by negative 1 now we would not be able to solve this by factorization but we can use the formula to use the formula method for this so our formula is y equals minus b plus or minus we have the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 multiplied by a so now our y okay our y will be equal to in place of this minus b we have remember that our b is minus 100 a is 1 and c is 100 so we are going to have minus minus 100 and that will give us plus 100 plus or minus we have minus 100 squared then minus 4 times 1 times c is 100 then this is all over 2 multiply by 1 so that if we continue we will have y to be equal to 100 plus or minus 100 times 100 is 10,000 okay 10,000 the negative will multiply itself to give us positive so that here we have 400 right because 4 times 100 is 400 and that will be over over 2 so that if we proceed we will now have y to be equal to 100 plus or minus 10,000 multiply uh, minus 400 that would be 9,600 and this is over over 2 so we'll continue from here okay our target is to break to break um this square root of 9600 uh, that is 9600 to break it into smaller form or simpler form 9600 is the same thing as um, 
1600 multiply by 6 okay then this is over 2 we are using that because 1600 is the highest perfect square that is a factor of 9600 so if we proceed now our y is going to be 100 okay we have 100 100 plus square root of 1600 is going to give us 40 this is plus or minus plus or minus so square root of 1600 is 40 then we have root 6 this is all over 2 right so let's continue okay so from here we have this but 2 can go here so that y is 50 plus or minus 2 into 40 is 20 then we have root 6 but then this is y equals 50 plus 20 root 6 or 50 minus 20 root 6 so from here this is what we have as the value of y and again remember that we had x before from equation 3 our x is equal to let me take a look our x is equal to 100 minus y 100 minus y now x is equal to 100 minus y now put open brackets to write 50 plus 20 root 6 i'm using this value of y first so x is equal to 100 minus 50 minus 20 root 6 because the negative is to open the brackets sorry i wrote out of sight so our x is equal to 50 100 minus 50 is 50 minus root minus 20 by the way minus 20 root 6 50 minus 20 root 6 right so when x is this remember that y was 50 plus 20 root 6 now let's work again remember that um, we had two values of y the second value of y is um, 50 minus 20 root 6 so now our x is 100 minus y from equation 3 and then let's put in the value of y we have 100 minus open bracket 50 plus 20 root 6 so that x will be equal to 100 minus 50 minus 20 root 6 so x is equal to 100 x is equal to we have 100 okay we just subtract it already 100 minus 50 is 50 this is my 50 then we have minus 20 root 6 so what are we saying we are saying that now when x is equal to 50 minus 20 root 6 y is equal to 50 minus 20 root 6 so we have solved the problem completely